This is Arvi Ramachandran. In this video, we're going to walk through the weekly and daily cycle analysis for the S&P Biotech ETF, that's the XBI. For those who are new to our work, at the bottom of this chart, we have our cycle brackets, and cycle brackets are a manual drawing tool, and they uh, are used to help us visualize the money flow patterns. We look for cycle lows to form around the troughs of cycles. Once those cycle lows form, we enter into rising phases. In rising phases, this is where you look for money flows to come in and for rallies on the upside. In an idealized cycle at the peaks of cycles, this is where you would look for really nominal upside and for highs to form. And then in the later stages of cycles, this is where you look for money flows to come out and for sell-offs on the downside. Now, how a stock reacts in a given uh, phase of its cycle tells you a lot about how relatively strong or relatively weak that stock really is. So what we have here, these uh, blue ovals here show the forecasted timing and I've left these old blue ovals on this chart just to show that the old lows uh, that formed on the weekly time frame were both in line with the forecasted timing. What this indicates now is that we are in a very risky pattern here in the XBI. You can see that we had just formed a key low and then got this rally. Now we are getting a retest of that key cycle low here at, uh, if I highlight it, 128.44, only uh, three weeks into this rising phase. This is a very negative uh, scenario here and it is really setting up for much further downside here in XBI. On the downside, we are targeting this intermediate term FIB target zone from 112.80 to 102.89 in this next corrective period here. Now the next key low is due 6.28 to 8.23. And, and lastly, what I do want to note is that our weekly momentum is firmly negative as you can see right here. If we go ahead and shift over to the daily chart, you'll see these big long cycles, but very, very clear cycles here in the XBI. You can see that the, the uh, bottom that had just formed here on the daily chart as well and we we're in this short-term rising phase we had this big failure here and then rolled back down our slim ribbon is also negative uh, which is why we have these red colored candles here and uh, you can also see the uh, beautiful signal off this uh, slim ribbon PO here as well which provides us our momentum continuation signals and you can see we had the signal right here and we got the large sell-off so what we're looking for at this point is uh, really further downside any little uh, bear flag here will likely turn back down into that next key low the next key low is due 421 to 55 and on the downside we are looking for a move in the short term to this uh, short term 618 here at 120 59 if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button on YouTube, and you can also go ahead and sign up for our channel. We do post content very regularly there as well. If you're interested in learning more about all that we do, please head over to AskSlim.com. And if you're interested in learning more about our memberships, go ahead and click on the Memberships tab. Thanks again, and hope you have a great day.